What's up, YouTube? George is Silver Hunter back, and I wanted to give a quick update on what I've been doing with my 3D printer. So in the original video, which I'll link to in the description down below, um, and I'll put a little title card maybe right about there for you if it's easier. Um, in that original video, I talked about the printer that I use and so on and so forth. And, and uh, one of the pieces that I did show off, and I've made these for every denomination, uh, and it's to help wrap coins, I wanted to give a quick update on. Uh, I'm still using this from time to time, and this is actually for quarters, and I've got a whole roll of quarters here. I'm just going to dump those in there to show you how it's supposed to work. But the idea is you can take this thing, fill it full of quarters, get it right up to the line, right? So you've got your quarters here, and I'm going to use a brand new wrap. So here's my wrap. And I did this in the last video, but you'll, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. Uh, the idea is you can take that and dump your quarters straight in and away you go. So if you have to hand wrap a lot of coins, that thing's actually pretty neat because of A, it helps you count out the right number of coins and it can help you get those coins quickly into a wrapper. So I still use this from time to time. Um, however, I did another video where I recently bought a coin counter machine and I use that more than, than not, um, simply because I can rip, you know, rewrap a whole box of quarters or dimes now in about 20 to 30 minutes, uh, which is really, really useful. Uh, so this is one piece. I think it's pretty cool. If you have a 3D printer, uh, I've linked to these things in the description of the 3D print video. And if you want to know, just leave me a note and I can shoot you the link. But this thing's actually been really, really cool. Um, I'm going to leave this in the state that it's in because we're going to come back to it in a minute. Uh, both the coin machine that I have and this little device, that's great if you have nothing but quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, and you can print those out for the specific denomination. What I can't do is half dollars. Uh, the machine I have only does the main denominations, doesn't do halves. And so I got on a tool called Tinkercad and started playing with some designs. And uh, you can see, hopefully in the light, I've got different kinds of insides and I've to reduce the amount of material that I use. I've put holes in some of them and you'll see they're different heights because I was playing with inside there's a little cap so that when you go to refill your coin rolls, you get just the right amount of wrapper left over. So, you know, if you've got a, a wrap, you don't want your coins coming all the way to the end. You want your coins coming to about right here. So in these little tubes, I've got little holes in there. And the last design I landed on, actually it's beveled inside. I hope you can see that. So that if you have a wrapper that's not working with you, you can actually get it. And when you shove it in, that little bevel will help separate the wrapper at the bottom. So I've made five or actually made about seven or eight of these. So now when I have to rewrap half dollars, I just line all of these various ones up and I've kind of gotten to know where the coins need to go in each one to have a perfect number of coins. But you can see that the paper kind of stays open and I can very quickly just kind of drop these in like so. And the nice thing is I can put my finger through and when I take it out, the coins are already at a good depth to just start folding the paper. So I thought this was kind of a neat idea. I wrapped a whole box of half dollars the other day really, really, really fast because I just lined up a bunch of these, put the wraps inside and dropped coins till they were the right height, took them all out, folded the paper and moved on. Um, so it's saving me a tremendous amount of time. So if you have a 3D printer or, you know, a friend that's got a 3D printer and you're interested in this, I'm happy to post my designs. Uh, they were really, they're, they're pretty basic. Each one of these things takes about an hour to print, maybe two hours on some of the more complex ones um, and not a whole lot of material. But I've been using this a lot. I think it's a lot of fun and it has saved me a bunch of time. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you, and that's the reason I kept these things where they are, is these are actually roll crimps, and somebody posted a design for these on Thingiverse. And this is, don't get me wrong, a horrible waste of time, and I only do this for rolls that I'm keeping, nothing that would go back to the bank. But if you've ever wondered how those eBay people are getting those old rolls that look, you know, bank sealed, they're using something like this. Um, and actually, I've got the 25 cent right here, you'll see the denomination is on the inside. This half dollar one, nobody had a half dollar one. 
So I actually took the quarter one and expanded it to the right size so it would work for a half dollar wrap. So that was actually my creation, if you will, or my mm, editing of a, of a creation. But just to show you how this works, you put your quarters in, uh, you, you, you basically put this thing on the bottom and you just start to twist like this. You apply pressure and push down on the paper and you'll see like the, that 10 is gonna slowly get eaten up as I push and spin. Right, and inside of this little piece of plastic, it is rolling that paper inside. So if you have a bunch of coins and you are trying to do like a nice wrap to just for long-term storage or something, it would take you all day to do this. But you can see how I'm starting to get a nice bank wrapped roll on the other side of my piece of paper. And it does take a little bit of practice and a little bit of time to get good at it. And once you get the right pressure though, you can actually move pretty fast and get a really nice crimp on the paper. And I'll do the other side. I won't do the half dollar because it works the same. You can see I got a long way to go here, so I may not do that all of it, but. And as I push, those quarters will just get closer and closer and closer. And uh, sometimes to speed this up, I'll actually cut some of the paper off the end because I don't want to have to roll it too far. But you can see now on that end, I've got a nice rolled edge. And I'm going to come back over here just to wrap it up. As I said, this is a horrible waste of time and I wouldn't recommend doing this to take rolls back to the bank. But, you know, if you were storing your own coins because you had an uncirculated roll or you were storing your copper or you just wanted to have nice wraps, this now looks like a bank wrapped roll that I did at home. And you can print every denomination of these I actually have. So I've got pennies, dimes, nickels, and I even made my own half dollar one. Uh, for this paper, you do have to cut about an inch of it off because you just can't roll uh, that far. It's just, it's too much paper to, to roll up. But uh, for all the other ones, so here's some penny ones that I did. So here's some I've marked in copper. And, uh, you know, if you've ever bought unsearched wheat penny rolls and they come in a wrapper, maybe a newer wrapper, I can guarantee you they've done something like this. Um, here's a, the one with the nickels. I did these at home. These might all be like 40s nickels. So anyway, I think, just think it's pretty cool. I wanted to share. This kind of video is probably not for everybody. I know not everybody has a 3D printer, uh, but it's something I've been tinkering with. And, uh, you know, if you have access to a 3D printer, I think it's something neat and fun to consider. And if you have any questions or want to know where I have any of these designs or how I've made any of these things or what have you, you know, just leave me a comment in the description down below. I'd love to hear from you. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're not a subscriber, please head on down below this video now and click on that subscribe button. Uh, click on that little bell and select all so you get notified each time I release a new video. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I love interacting with the folks that watch my videos. And uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see me do with the 3D printer or anything else you'd like to see me demonstrate, happy to do it. Just shoot me a note, leave me a comment. Uh, love to interact with you guys. Anyway, with that, take care. See you in the next one.